Thank you for joining us for the Lakefront News. I'm Gabriel Cook. College Consensus, an online university ranking website, has awarded the Our Lady of Lake University Social Work PhD program a spot at number 19 in the nation. This is an amazing accomplishment because the program is only in the second year. The two other Texas schools honored were Baylor University at number 8 and Houston Baptist at number 14. OLU's accounting program head and associate professor of accounting, Michelle Avila, has been honored as a recipient of the Texas Society of CPAs Outstanding Educator Award. I had a chance to speak to Avila, who accredits her colleagues for the award. Uh, humbled, extremely humbled, honored, and very grateful to have received this award. It has been many years working at Our Lady of the Lake and always trying to motivate, uh, transform, and to guide students. Avila was presented the award via Zoom by TXCPA Chairman Jerry Spence on Wednesday, January 27th. Students, are you thinking about getting a part-time job? You may want to consider work-study. A work-study program can actually be more beneficial than an off-campus job. Located inside the Walter Student Service Center, you can find student employment office where they can assist students and find part-time employment on campus. Work-study can help students earn income and get work experience without compromising their academics. Having a job while in school shows future employers that, students, that a student is capable of handling the pressure of school and work combined. This experience will help boost your resume and stand out from others. Here is Olu student Gabby Mata with some advice from those who may be unsure about work study. I would tell them just go for it. You know, it, it's not that difficult. Uh, the, uh, you know, your supervisors, they help you out. Uh, they want you to um, move forward with Stay with us. Coming up next, a look at your sports news. If you're looking to advertise an event, club meetings, and other things, then please contact the Lakefront News website at lakefrontolu.com slash advertise with us where you can find the link to the media kit with the prices and slots you can fill out. You can also contact the Lakefront through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Welcome back, and now look at Olu Sports. In the first set of conference awards for the 2021 women's soccer season, Olu sweeps titles for the offense, offensive and defensive players of the week. Of the nine women's soccer programs within the Red River Athletic Conference, the two players of the week each came from Olu. Senior Yolanda Vasquez took the title of Offensive Player of the Week, while sophomore Madison Herrera received the award for Defensive Player of the Week. Both players proved themselves vital in the season, Saints season opener against St. Mary's, where Vasquez scored the game-winning goal in the 60-minute and Herrera denied the Rattlers throughout her 80 minutes of playing time. Congratulations, ladies. It's spring training once again for Our Lady, for Olu Saints. Baseball season, the baseball season is finally upon us as Olu stands ready to kick off the 2021 spring season. However, due to COVID-19, the university has mandated that games will be spectator-free in hopes of curbing the virus on campus. Selected games will be live streamed through the Olu Saints network. All other games will be streamed via the Olu Athletics Facebook page. This footage is courtesy of the Olu Sports Information Office. The Olu baseball team split a two-game series against Oklahoma Wesleyan University on Tuesday. The Saints fell in, first, in, in the first game 9-4, but came back in the second to win 1-0. This is their first win of the season. Olu's record is one of five thus far. Senior Jose Diaz surpassed 200 hits as a Saint in the first game. Diaz singled to drive in, in Noah Ravis Rodriguez in the bottom of the first. Diaz also drove a pair of runs in the second inning. Five Saint pitchers combined to only allow three hits and strike out eight batters. Francisco Martinez recorded 10 putouts at the first base. The Saints will host Tabor College for a four-game series starting February 12th at 1 p.m. There's nothing better for an athlete than coming out on top, uh, coming out on top with a win. Senior Zarina Sharati knows this feeling all too well as she and the Olu women's basketball team defeated Jarvis Christian College to celebrate her senior night. The Olu's women's basketball team came out with the win 
over Jarvis Christian College February 4th in the Maybe Gym. The Saints defeated the Bulldogs 101-92. The Saints honored Serena Girardi for the senior night. Girardi led the Saints in scoring with 22 points. Thank you for tuning in to Lakefront News. Visit us online at lakefront.olu.com.